Natural resources can be broadly divided into renewable resources and non-renewable resources. India's forest cover is 6,76,000 square kilometers. Broadly, the uses of forest can be divided into commercial uses and the ecological uses. Why we are getting converted into desertification and forests are completely getting spoiled? What is the reason? Hello my dear students, welcome back. I am going to start with the next unit that is unit 3 which is natural resources. So what exactly is the meaning of natural resources? Anything which is available in bulk or abundant and which is very useful for us human beings or animals, we call them as resources. And if it is naturally occurring, we call it as natural resources. But the definition of natural resources is a form of energy or matter which is essential for functioning of organism, population and ecosystem. So what is the definition of natural ecosystem? It is the energy or matter which is essential for functioning of the ecosystem or a population or an organism on the whole we call it as natural resources. So it is very useful for functioning of the organism or it can be an ecosystem or it can be any community or a population. Okay. So what are the resources which are there, which are naturally occurring? They are forest resources, water resources, mineral resources, food resources, energy resources, as well as land resources. All these are abundantly found naturally occurring. We have forest, we have water around us, then we have minerals, we have soil that is called as land and we have energy resources that is our solar energy only is there which is very very abundantly there. Then we have food resources etc which are naturally occurring resources. Okay. Before we go into any one type of resource, we learn about the different types of natural resources. Natural resources can be broadly divided into renewable resources and non-renewable resources. And non-renewable resources are further classified as recyclable and non-recyclable ones. So we learn each one of their definition and some of the examples. So the first one is the renewable resources renewable resources it can be renewed over and over again it can be reformed again so what is it the resources that can be replenished through rapid natural cycles are known as renewable resources example crops animals water soil etc. We know water cycle. There is evaporation, formation of the cloud and then again we get rain. So water is getting recycled. So it is a renewable source. Crops, what we are growing, we can grow them over and over again, isn't it? So they are all renewable resources. The non-renewable resources are those which cannot be replenished through natural cycles or processes over and over again with use over time they will be getting over or they will be finished up okay so these are available only in limited amount and which cannot be increased for example we can give fossil fuels like petrol coal metals etc are non-renewable resource we have only small amount with which we have to maintain ourselves okay so non-renewable resources further it is classified as recyclable and non-recyclable so recyclable are the ones which you can recycle them you have used them okay you don't want them you have to put it in the garbage and it can be recycled or it is reused it cannot be replenished but it can be reused for example you can see the metals which is there it is ores of aluminium, copper, mercury or it can be phosphate rocks, potassium, minerals etc. Which are all 
you know recyclable non renewable resources these are non renewable resources which can be collected after they use and it can be recycled very easily and also they are non energy mineral resources what is it they are non energy mineral resources last is the non recyclable ones these are those non renewable resources which cannot be recycled in any way for example fossil fuels like petrol coal kerosene etc and also uranium which provides the 90% of our energy requirements they are the main source of energy what is there what we are using now and this cannot be replenished or it cannot be recycled also okay so these are the different types of natural resources which we have next we have the forest resources what is a forest forest is a biotic community which is predominated with trees shrubs plants woody vegetation and also has got wild animals so the forest is which has lot of vegetation or it has got lot of biotic community in them and india's forest cover is 676000 square kilometers which is only for 20.55% of geographical area and scientists estimate that for our population we should have at least 33% of our land as forest but today we have only 12% which is remaining because of the over exploitation of the forest okay so what is the function of the forest functions of forest can be they are habitat to millions of plants animals and wildlife they recycle rain water they prevent pollution or they can control pollution and they can control water quality not only that they are the main reason for climatic changes they can control the temperature and the weather and also and the forest has the main function of soil conservation and prevent soil erosion also they have lot of biodiversity carbon they have watershed services they conserve soil they use for recreational and cultural values the social and economic benefits for communities and also they have high conservation values so these are some of the functions of forest next we have the uses of forest broadly the uses of forest can be divided into commercial uses and the ecological uses so first we will see about the commercial uses of forest first use of forest is wood and wood is the raw material for so many industries that is first wood is used as fuel the supply of wood to various industries like pulp paper furniture timber etc then minor forest products are there like gums dyes resins also it is used for medicinal purposes and also supply variety of animal products because forest also has got wild animals we have honey ivory horns etc and many forest land is also used for grazing mining for dams and for recreational purposes so these are the commercial uses commercial use means through which we can uh, have you can get money or we can commercially use it for different purposes okay so then we call it as commercial use next we have the ecological uses under ecological uses we can see that they have high production of oxygen and they are also the main key for reducing global warming the high production of oxygen is because of the process of photosynthesis that is they take up the carbon dioxide along with the sunlight they can give oxygen that is you have oxygen fresh air to breathe because of our forest and also the carbon dioxide gas as they are taking up the global warming 
which is produced due to mainly due to carbon dioxide gas is also reduced because of the forest which is present in the world okay so that is the first two ecological uses the next uses are they conserve soil that is they prevent soil erosion the roots of the trees hold on to the soil so very tightly that they will not allow soil erosion and landslides etc so they can save us from lot of disasters and also they will maintain the fertility of the soil because they can hold up the soil and the organic matter in the soil also can be increased the next ecological uses is the regulation of hydrological cycle that is water shed in the forest act as a giant sponges okay the forest is acting like a sponge which slowly releases the water recharge of the spring so it is acting like a sponge when it starts raining and it takes up all the water and it is there stored as or the underground water quality and quantity can increase because of the presence of forest next we have the pollution moderators they can absorb all the toxic material that is there in the gases and also they are the ones which reduce even noise pollution and also the wind which blows also it can be broken by the presence of the forest and thus they will act as the pollution moderators last but not the least we have wildlife habitat it is a very much use or it is home for lot of animals that is i can tell millions of species are there which is dependent on the forest and it lives in the forest ecosystem next we have the reasons for deficiency of forest what is the main reason for deficiency of forest we are india was supposed to have 33% of forest but we have only 12% left why what is the reason behind the deficiency of forest why we are getting converted into desertification and forests are completely getting spoiled what is the reason main is over exploitation just because we have lot of uses from there especially the uh, you know commercial uses there we are over exploiting the forest one is the main reason then deforestation for again commercial uses dams etc 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 deforestation has got lot of you know reasons we can tell and we'll be learning about that in the next class about deforestation and also mining is also one of the reasons for deficiency of forest so first we will learn about the over exploitation of forest so if you see due to over population we have a very very high population correct and due to which there is a lot of demand for medicine shelter wood fuel etc hence we are exploiting not only exploiting we are over exploiting the forest resources and the causes for over exploitation is increasing in agricultural production increasing agricultural activity increase in demand of wood resources so what we are doing we are converting all the land that is the which was covered by forest into the agricultural land because we need to support our population with the food which comes from only agriculture so we are converting all the you know forest into agricultural land and due to which there is over exploitation and all the disasters which we can see which is there we are spoiling the ecosystem what is there in the forest and forest as we know has lot of functions which is going to spoil because of our population and next class we'll be learning about deforestation as well as about the mining so thank you my dear children stay tuned for more updates